and your Nintendo here. Welcome to another exciting episode of Kids Church Online. I'm so excited to have you guys here and I hope you have your Bible, your notepad, and your pen because you know we're gonna need that for our Bible lesson today, which is the Sword of the Spirit. So boys and girls, you know last week we started an exciting series called The Armor of God and we're talking about the helmet of salvation and how the devil wants to bring bad thoughts in our minds, but he cannot do that when we have the helmet of salvation. And today we'll be talking about the sword of the spirit and this is the word of God boys and girls when you have the word of God nothing bad can happen to you because you can fight the devil with what's in the Bible so we're gonna be learning about that but before we do anything boys and girls you know we have to play some games and last week we we're playing the game true or false and the kids won so the kids have six and the adults have seven but today who's gonna take it I don't know. We have the youths against the kids, just like we did last week. All right, boys and girls, it's now game time. And today we're going to be playing a game called Plain Mat. And it's going to be the kids versus the youth. And on the kids team, we have Lemio and Ithi. Hey, Lemio and Ithi. Hey. And for the youth, we have Jesse and JB. Hey, guys. OK, so this is how we're going to play the game. So on the floor right here, we have mats with different scores. And these guys have planes. So what they're going to have to do is throw these planes to these mats with different scores. They do not know what the scores are. They're going to have to find out after they throw. And we're going to add up the scores. And the one with the biggest score is the winner. So guys, we have three rounds. So we're going to have to play three times. And the one who has the biggest score wins. So you know last week, the kids won with six and the youth won with seven. So who's gonna win today? We have no idea. I hope the kids win because they've been lagging behind for so long. So kids, are you guys ready for the game? Yeah! Who's gonna take this? Let's find out. So we're gonna start with the kids. Let's go, Lemmy. All right, you can throw it. All right, it's close to the yellow. So he threw on the yellow mat. Let's go youth. On the blue. All right, so this is round one. And the yellow has four scores. That means the kids have four right now. And the blue has eight. Okay, so the youth are leading right now. So you guys are gonna have to catch up with the youth for you guys to win. Let's go. Kids, Ithi, you can throw. Okay, so this is in line with the yellow color. Youth, let's go. Yellow again. All right. So for round two, the yellow has six points, which means youth has 14, and the kids, you guys, have 10. All right, boys and girls, so this is the final round, the finale. Who's going to take this? I have no idea, but the youth is leading with... 14 and the kids with 10. Let's see who's gonna be closest to this match. The one who has the closest play to the match is the winner. All right, you, let's go. Ooh, right on the mat, all right. Let me. So the youth put it right on the mat and the kids right before the mat. They're gonna do it again. Let's go, youth. Are you guys gonna put this? All right, after the match, right after the match. Okay, that means the youth wins. Oh, boys and girls, that is fine. We're going to beat them next time. All right, boys and girls, that means the youth just won the game because this match has 10 points. So that means you guys now have 26 and the kids, you guys have 24. That is fine, you guys, well done. So proud of you, youth. Well done for taking this. Okay, that means the youth now have eight and the kids are sitting on six, but it's fine, you guys. You guys can take it next week. I know the kids can win, right, kids? Yeah! I'm so excited for next week. All right, boys and girls, now it's time for our Bible lesson, which is the sword of the spirit. So go ahead and grab your Bible, your notebook, and your pen and get ready to hear the word of God. Ah! Jordan, what is going on? I am not Jordan. My name is Duck. What? Duck. Where are you getting these things from? My name Boys is. And girls, my name is Duck. I'm Jordan. My name is Duck. When is your name wrong? You, you, you. Haven't you read Ugly Ducky? My name is Duck. 
Let's be doing it now. You are so not acting like yourself today. What happened? Like, well, where are you getting these all, all these names yeah. from, you dog? Yes, because I was at school and then one of my friends called me ugly. Ah, uh, Jordan. Can you imagine? And then their friend said, yes, I'm an ugly duckling. Ah, uh, Jordan. Well, trust me, you are not ugly at all. Why would what? you think you're ugly? Yeah, because they said so. You are the most handsome person I know, Jordan. Yeah, you just say that because you know me. Boy. Oh, Jordan, let me tell you what. What? The devil is trying to put lies in your head by telling you you're ugly, you're a dog, you are an I'm ugly... I'm a dog? You call me a dog now? Ah, so what? Jordan. I was a duck and now I'm a dog? Mm -mm. Well, you are not ugly, Jordan. Okay. In fact, today we're going to be learning about fighting the devil's lies with the sword of the spirit. Wait, okay, so fighting? So I can fighting. take a sword and then go and threaten those people. That's a, such a good plan. Let me ah, do that right Jordan. now. Do you have a sword? <laughs> We are not talking oh, about sword at the table. Let me go and take and that. Fighting. Uh uh, Jordan, that's not the fighting we're talking about. We're talking about fighting with the word of God. Right wait, here. The Bible. You? Oh, wait, so I should take out my sword and use the Bible instead and smack those people on the head with my Bible? Such a good plan. That's a holy way of fighting. I respect that. Oh, I know you're so angry and mad at the people who are calling you ugly. Yeah? But that's not how we fight. But you said we it. Fight you said with the, the Bible. Word of God. By what? We fight with the word of God, Jordan, and we have the perfect video to show you how to do that. Wait, so the Bible is what? You're going to show me a video that We're shows show me you. how to fight? Uh -huh. Like, yeah, yeah! Well, let's watch this video and you find out. Okay. Hey kids, today we're going to talk some more about Jesus. This time, we're going to learn about how he was tempted. Get ready! Have you ever been tempted before? Like, maybe you were tempted to sneak a cookie right before dinner? Or maybe you were tempted to cheat on a quiz at school? Or maybe you were just tempted to keep picking on your kid sister, even though your mom told you not to? Well, here's the thing. Do you know that Jesus was tempted too? It was when he went out into the wilderness. He went there to pray and get ready for his ministry. The Bible says that the devil came out and tried to tempt Jesus. Now you don't have to worry. You just seemed a little worried. Jesus is way stronger than the devil. <sighs> He's gonna be just fine. Back to the story. During that time, the devil came and said to him, If you are the son of God, then tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, no, the scriptures say, people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. That's our memory verse. Do you know why the devil was talking about bread? It's because Jesus hadn't eaten for a long time. He was hungry, and so... The devil tried to tempt Jesus with bread. Because he thought it might work, but it didn't. And then... The devil tried to get Jesus to jump off of a building. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, jump off. For the scriptures say, he will order his angels to protect you. And they will hold you up with their hands. So you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. So Jesus responded. And the scriptures also say, you must not test the Lord your God. Did you notice that the devil was trying to trick Jesus with the Bible? He was trying to get Jesus to think that God didn't love him. He was trying to get Jesus to prove it by doing something really dumb. But Jesus already knew that God loved him. He didn't have to test that. He just had to trust it. Do you trust that God loves you no matter what anyone else says? It's true. And here is the last thing the devil did. Next, the devil took Jesus to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. I will give it all to you, the devil said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him. For the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Can you believe it? The devil said he would give the whole world to Jesus. He thought Jesus would fall for that. 
That's like you going home and telling your parents that you'll give them all the stuff in the house if they would just let you stay up late and watch a movie. It's all their stuff anyway. You're just a kid. Jesus is God, the creator of the whole universe. The devil was just some stinking angel. Who got kicked out of heaven? Who do you think's gonna win that battle? Jesus did. Swipe. Then the devil went away, and the angels came and took care of Jesus. And here's the big idea. Jesus made it through those temptations because he knew what the Bible says. And that's how you can make it through temptation whenever it comes. Just do what Jesus did. Quote from the Bible, yo. And tell that bad devil to get out of there. Ooh, okay, I watched the video and it's about Jesus taking out the devil, but what does it mean? Exactly, Jordan. What does it mean? Did you see? You're not the only one who has lies and all these bad stuff put into your head by the devil. Even Jesus went through the same thing. But then, what is the lesson there? I just don't get it because he well, used the Bible and mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Whenever these lies are told to you, whenever yeah. you think you're ugly, whenever you think you're not good enough, you just go to the Word of God and you fight that enemy with the Word of God using the Bible. For example, for example, Jordan, yeah. people are calling you ugly and all these nasty stuff. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made, which means you're such a handsome boy, Jordan. Oh, that is so good. So, okay, so I'm still str struggling to think. So, what is the sword of the spirit then? Is that something else? Is that, what is going on here? Well, the sword of the spirit is the Bible, Jordan. Wait, Hebrews. wait, wait. Now you're confusing me. Are you, are you saying what the sword is the Bible? The but sword. I thought you said the Bible. We can't use it as a weapon. But I, I... Well, Jordan, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you, Jordan. The sword of the spirit stands for the Bible. So Jordan, yeah. Hebrews 4 verse 12 says, uh -huh. the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, which means we can use the word of God to fight the enemy. It's like a sword, Jordan. So I see what you're saying. So for example, mm -hmm. like, I, someone called me ugly, right? Yeah. So what you're saying is that that is not true. That's a it devil's lie. It is not true, So Jordan. the Bible says I'm handsome and exactly. I'm fearfully made. That's the truth? That and is that's the how truth. I fight? That is how you fight. So anytime you're told any nasty word, you just go to the word of God and you fight the enemy with the Bible, Jordan. Oh, I see. So that's what Jesus did. That he fought Jesus. the devil with the word of God. That is correct, Jordan. Wow. You are not ugly. But Jesus didn't know he's... He didn't have a Bible, but he still knew the word in his head. He still knew the word of God. Wow, that means I need to read more of the Bible? You need to read a lot of the Bible, Jordan, so that you can fight any bad thing that the devil brings your way, you can karate chop them. But you know, Auntie, there's so many lies that the devil told me. So even when I'm sick, there's even a there's a truth in the Bible that I can use. There is and when I feel down, the there's another truth. Mm -hmm. So all the truth is in the Bible. All the truth is in the Bible, Jordan. Isn't that exciting? That is so exciting. I'm not ugly. You are not I'm ugly. I'm not duck. You're not me duck. <laughs> you are so not ugly, Jordan. Well, Jordan, yeah? we need to help the boys and girls at home pray so that they know how to use the word of God as the sword of the spirit. You oh, want to yes, pray? Yes, that's so All true. Right, let's, let's pray. Yeah. Let's stretch our hands to the boys and girls at home yeah, stretch. and repeat after me, okay? Okay. Okay, say, dear God, dear God, we thank you for the boys and girls at home. We thank you for the boys and girls at home. Thank you. Thank you. That they're going to be able that they're going to be able to use the word of God that they need the word of God to fight every bad thing that the devil brings in their heads to fight every bad, well, bad thing. Uh, yeah, what you said. Yes, yeah. Help them. Help them to use the sword of the spirit. Use the sword of the spirit. And win every fight. And win every fight. In the mighty name of Jesus In Christ, the mighty we pray. Name of Jesus. And pray. everybody say Amen. Amen, boys and girls. So Jordan, yeah. do you still think you're ugly? No, I'm not ugly. You are so not ugly. I am so you not are ugly. fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Alright, boy, boys and girls. Bye!